time every fucking week. Shut your mouth! I need to put my cigarette out. Did you, are you re, did you redecorate back there? Oh, you moved the fucking Chinese Santa. Chinese Santa! Brian's got a tree up and everything? Wow. I was decorating all day today. <laughs> well, Bob, Bob was out in the yard decorating, so it, it inspired me. <laughs> oh, I gotta put my tree up this week. <laughs> <clears throat> I was thinking about going out and getting like a pre-holiday massage to sort of help me relax, but well, I didn't want I didn't want to get some sort of infection. Mark could recommend you some good people. I know some good people. Just make sure you get no moles on your neck. <laughs> the people Mark goes to don't wipe when they go to the bathroom. Uh, I don't think they wipe. Well, Mark don't even wipe. That, that is true. Really? Mark, yeah. are you sure that it wasn't from the massage place? Maybe it was just you scratching your own neck with them shit-filled fingernails? I go there once a week. For about six months, I've been going there, and it hasn't happened until last week. So I don't know. Maybe it was him, and he had some dirty hands. You think you could have had dirty hands? I think he was too aggressive on me, and he tore something. I bet he tore something. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. It's not a private massage place like you're in this room, and everyone lines up in a row. Mark brings a tent, Yeah, <laughs> and they go in this pop-up tent. It's really weird. He actually t told me to take my shirt off this time, which is kind of odd. Yeah, that's weird. There's a lot of people around. All right, well, we're going to talk about that and a whole lot more, so let's 20-minute uh, intro. The gooch. My gooch is itchy. Mama. Hope for the Eagles. Ignition. We are live. Live, 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 live. Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to the Vape Team, the motherfucking great team. Cloudy Entertainment for that ass. It is 200 and 28, and the title for the show is The Cure for the Holiday Blues, baby. That's what this is. We're going to have a lot of fun tonight. we got an action-packed show. We have drama. We have medical conditions. We have neighborhood holiday brawls. We have special squirrels. We have a whole agenda. And, uh, yeah, we're really excited to bring this to you guys tonight. So welcome to the show. I hope everybody's relaxing in chat, talking amongst yourselves. And uh, I'd like to start the show off with a little introduction. He's really a man that doesn't need an introduction. The king of clouds, the, the Greek god of modern vaping. I think last week we came up with a brand new term, the cloud commander, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> king hit that shit. The matchstick man, Mr. Matchy Matchy. The iron lung, the third lung. Mikey motherfucking vapes. Good evening. Good evening. I'd also like to introduce a very special guest this evening, Could folks. Could you refer to me as the Gooch? <laughs> <laughs> a very special guest. I'd like to introduce the Gooch, a.k.a. Fark Megan. Yes. <laughs> the Fark. Gooch in the house, folks. <laughs> Welcome, Gooch. Thank you. Thanks for having me. How you doing? Good. All right. Let's uh, kick this off a little bit of buffet action. What are you vaping on, Mark? Buffet, buffet, buffet. We got the smoke... D barrel, I think, with the Falcon 2 Thinabog. We got the uh, Sense Heracles. Holy shit, two in a row. Here we go. Now I'm going to fuck it up. Uh, Vaporesso something with the Gooch MTL RTA. Uh, we got the, whatchamacallit, the Evil Dildo with the BTFC. Woo. And we got the little Kiko Cuckoo. Coco. Kaka, Coco. Ooh. And then the top side light with the uh, drop V2. We got some juices, strawberry cornbread pudding, marshmallow the one, 
We got some fried. What is this shit? Cream cake. Ooh, cream cake. Yummy. And they got some Puerto Rican love, 12 milligrams of the pineapple. I can't pronounce it, so we'll just call it pineapple. Thank you. Thanks, Mark. Take it away, Mr. Brian. The gooch is loose tonight, ladies and gentlemen. That was a beautiful buffet, Mark. Uh-huh. Thank you. Uh, I'm vaping the COCO tonight. There we go. And I'm working on this, getting it down. Look at that little. I just etch a little trim in there so I can just get that bit. Look Use that. the, what do you call it, razor? Yep. Look. Mike. Yeah. How do you fucking chew on it? It's like it's hard to do. It works. You just do it and you crack your tooth. I cracked my tooth doing this shit. You can't even get a I got a crack tooth. Teeth. Anyway, obviously I can't control myself. So I'm um, also vaping on the SQ top side this evening. I'm loving the SQ top side. I also have this beautiful holiday light up son of a bitch, the Sense Heracles. Pod mod, maybe? Pro pod mod? Yeah, pod mod. Yeah, right. yeah pod mod. Pro the pod mod. P- pro yeah. pod mod. Um, <clears throat> speaking of pods, the pod in is in the house tonight. The pod in. Mm-hmm. I love this little thing. This thing's been growing on me. It's a great little device from Anakin. Awesome yeah. little device. Uh, I'm also vaping on the Nunchaku 2. Nunchaku 2 with the intake dual. Perfect combination. If you want a fucking banger, this thing is just unbelievable. Uh, I got paid before the show. Love it. And uh, thanks, Mike. Thank you. Thank you. And liquids this evening, Nancy's Flancocho. Nancy's Flan Cake in 18 milligrams for me. Loving it from the Sabores del Encanto. Hey. Hey, Fango. All right. I'm also vaping on that Hit That Boston Cream from Paradigm. Hit That Boston Cream. And that is it. So take it away, Mike Vapes. Good evening, Greg, Sid, Chat, Steve, Adrian. Vaping on the top side light with the uh, Falcon version 2. Taffy Splash in there. Also vaping on. I don't know the name of it. I'm going to pull a mark and call it the Whatchamacallit (laughs) RTA. (laughs) <laughs> from Asmodus on the uh, Duke V2. Wow. Look at that, huh? I think that's even prettier than this clear white, uh, white one. Or is that a little matchy-matchy going on there? It's a beaut. It is nice. And inside that, we have some Sabores del Encante. Hey. MTL, I got that pineapple going in there. All right, that's the pineapple. Pineapple rum. That's I right. love the pineapple rum sticky up. I got down pineapple there. rum in there doing MTL. I am also vaping on who oh, I can't forget my old reliable intake dual on the boxer classic raspberry custard. Joe mother F and Turner. Oh, check it. Joe, Joe Turner sent me a couple of liquids. And he threw this in there. It's a bottle. Oh, look at that. This is a bottle, a opener. bottle, bottle opener. Damn, that's pretty tight. That's actually be really that would be sweet sitting on like a screw on the wall as like a deco art. Awesome. Nice job, Joe. My man Joe Turner. Joe. Vaping on that. I'm also vaping on that uh Sense Heracles thing. Pod mod thingy with some of that Addy boy inside there. What a pretty big buffet going on. I'm actually vaping a lot of this stuff. Let's run with it. Yeah, I'm also vaping on a podden. Ooh. Doing, I got three pods that I'm working on today. We got Podden, Coco, and this new one from Gas Mods called the uh, the Mars. Pod, it's the pod side. So, yeah, the pod side. <laughs> <laughs> That's called the pod side. Yep. Coming soon, folks. Yep. Yeah. I'm vaping on those. Uh, what else are you vaping on, Mike? Oh, I forget. Also doing the little SQ top side action with the Rebirth. Boston Cream inside there. From Hit That Juice. Yeah. And I'm also vaping on the Asgard Mini. Asgard Mini on the SQ from Signature Tips. That's clutch. Thank you. Cuckoo, cuckoo. And inside there, I am vaping on some strawberry macaroon. I love strawberry macaroon. Thank you. <sighs> I remember back when I had strawberry macaroon in my room. It was delicious. All right, so let's... uh. Do you guys want to talk about the the Joel Joel drama first, or you want to later, get it later, later, later? Because we have updates that people actually 
uh, people said it's more important. They want to know about uh, Fagan update on his uh, Siamese twin that's on his back. Uh, take it away, Mark. Updates. The uh, Siamese twin is healed. The color is back to normal. I am not dying, folks. Yes. So what healed it? You went to the doctor, got anything for it? Or? I just put some uh, antibiotic on it, and it cleared right up. Hmm. I knew it was good. Like it just he rubbed it. He rubbed it raw. It's kind of like when you jerk off too much, how your shit gets raw. Same thing there. He rubbed it raw. Needs some time to heal. <clears throat> now, I'm ready to go. Mark, can I make a uh, can I make a recommendation and give you some thoughts? Uh, probably make him wear rubber gloves. No. So you have something that. I mean, you take your shirt off every day and, you you know, you get massages and you like to wear necklaces and stuff like that with your costumes. Have you ever thought – and also, you also stand in public with your family and people stand behind you. Did you did, <laughs> just because you can't see this obnoxious growth on your neck doesn't mean that other people can't. And have it, you, have you ever – hold on, hold on. Have you, you, have you ever been behind a growth person? I've seen some – if it was, like, really awkward, I would probably get it removed. But it's not awkward. It's just a mole. I've seen it before, and I didn't bring it up to you. It's been with me <laughs> since birth. I can't cut it off. It was uncomfortable in the car. When we were eating pizza and we went to take a picture, I put my arm around you, and my thumb, my thumb grazed against it. And I, I wanted to say something at the time, but I didn't. But a, a dermatologist – can use a simple freeze technique, or they can use a scalpel, and we can free you from your brother. So this thing has been with me since birth. I cannot get rid of it. What do you guys think? Do you think you should keep it? Maybe it adds to the content. I don't know. Oh, wow. It looks weird now because it, now it's shrunk, but it's like a... Let's see. Let's see. Can we get an update on the visual? No, it doesn't. Angela said it was healed, but it doesn't look that healed. <laughs> it's, it's fucking purple and bleeding. No, it's like... Uh... That looks horrible. Oh. Well, let, let, let's look Wait, at it. What? It, let's see what it used to look like. Though, hold on. That looks the same. It looks infected as no, hell, Mark. It's a hell of a lot smaller than last time. Hold on, let's go through. Uh, that's a good idea. His mole is named Fark. Yeah, that's, that's Fark Megan. Fark. Mark, can you turn around and get us give us an update from Fark? Yep. Hold on, hold on. I gotta find the one I took. Yo, Mike, we need to get a reverse camera so we could zoom right in on Fark yeah. and get an update from Fark directly on the show. Exactly. Put a camera behind you, zoomed in, Mike. Yes. All right, there, there's the day of. That looks it bad. It looks the same. That's the same thing, man. No, it looks. It Dude, tells me. It's, it looks exactly look, the same. Look how red that is. That's what it looked like. It's. Let's see it now. Let's see the new one. Hold on. I was trying to. This front, oh, wait a minute. That was... Hold on. <laughs> he can't Did tell the difference. the same one from yes. last time? That's what it looks like now. Hold on. My bad. He showed us the wrong one. I was going to yeah. say it's the same fucking one. <sighs> Unbelievable. All right. Here we go. It looks the same. <laughs> You're damn right it looks the oh, same. Oh, God. That's disgusting. Dude, I told you go see a doctor, man. It's, it's good. It doesn't hurt. The redness is gone. Cool Breeze in chat said it looks fucked up. It just not it's not brown anymore. Now it's skin colored. <sighs> I don't know. I'm well, I'm going I got a doctor appointment Saturday, so I'll find out. But Cheryl's like pop that damn thing. Yeah. We should get uh, we should get Dr. Pimple Popper to come to Mark's trailer and do a cut a mole off. We'll do a special Christmas edition. That thing is full of pus. Yes. Dude, I would bleed to death if I cut that off. I wouldn't bleed to death, but I would need a stitch to close it up. If you start feeling weak, Mark, and woozy, you need to go get checked, man. You could have a serious infection. Mm-hmm. I've been feeling great. The only scary thing, guys, do you think that it's safer with it closed like it is, infected, or do you think it's better for him if he cuts it and exposes it to all the outside contaminants? It's not in... God damn it. I'm trying to get a better picture. It's, they, not, it's that, not good. Who's thinking you're taking the pictures of yourself? Yeah. <laughs> that angle makes it look infected. Somebody said there's a larva in there. <laughs> That's <not> a better <laughs> angle. <laughs> let's let's get. We need more bokeh in that picture, Mark. Uh, exactly. That's not a mole. I don't know. He doesn't even know what a mole is. Yeah. There we go. That's a better shot. Whoa! What's going on here? Uh, Jeff Sigler said that the growth is bigger than his peepee. 
That's true. Mark, are oh, you sure that picture wasn't down your pants? I took video, my bad. I don't know what's happening here. Are, you're on a live show and there's people watching and we need to keep them entertained? <laughs> I'm trying to get it. Trust this me, is... folks. There, It's not an infection. It's not a tumor. It's well, just normal growth. There we go. That well, looks good. See, look, on the back, this looks normal. That looks so far from normal. Oh, my God. It's a little nipple. It looks really bad. Zoom I in more. It... Let's see it up close. Is there any? Look, even up close, it looks good. <laughs> Dude, oh. it looks. Mark. Compared to what it looked like. It's spreading horizontally. Yes. It's, it's not spreading, spreading, man. Dude, it's growing out. That's. Fark Megan wants to be free. Yep. <laughs> Let him out. Fark <laughs> Megan wants to be free. No, grab one of your, you know, boot up needles and puncture that uh, shit. Uh, you can't puncture a mole. All right. So listen, folks. Update. I'll bleed out. If you think this content's good, wait till you see what we have in store for 2020. Okay. Oh, we're, we're, we're killing the end of the year with this amazing content, but we got more coming in 2020. Oh, Real quick, Mark. Update us on the current status of Vape and Fagan and F Fagan's World. Oh, Fagan's World? You mean my toy or my channel? Oh, well, no, we uh, want... wait, 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 wait. We're we going to have... do a whole half hour on Fagan tonight. Yeah. We want, first, we want channel update. I changed the name of my, ch not this channel, I changed the name of my other channel to Fagan's World, courtesy of uh, Felix. Thank you, Felix, for that name. When you said this channel, what did you mean? The Fagan, ch Vape and Fagan channel. Yeah, but I we're not on a Fagan channel. No, I know, but I thought maybe he meant. I don't know what he meant. Yeah, I. You're confusing. Well, I'm just clarifying because people are gonna be like, "What?" My other channel that I have, I have a second channel that I called Fagan for All. I changed the name of it to Fagan's World. Right. I have no idea what I'm gonna do, but yeah, that's. I heard you're trying on nightgowns and things like that and brassieres. Nightgowns, makeup, doing a lot of oddball things. Cool. Nothing vape related. Nice. Awesome. How about uh? The other update. You finally got to use. Yeah, there it is. He finally. Used... Ah! <laughs> it's a pork loin. <laughs> Dude, it looks softer than it used to be. So I will say this: this thing fucking blew my mind. Like when I was coming, like I felt like I was gonna fall asleep. It felt so good. The only downside to this thing is having to wash it afterwards. So you didn't, and, right? And it leaks. So you put the cap on the bottom and you're fucking it. <laughs> lube comes out and then you get lube all over this thing and then when you're done you pull this out and then all the cum drains out of the bottom so what you got to do is like stretch it out and rinse it out and get all the old cum out of there there's probably some some still in there <laughs> but money well spent right here folks was no. anyone home when no, this no happened? Home. was it like a date it was a date it was really good I had my feet up on the desk what, what did you watch be honest what did you watch what did I watch? You know what he probably did? He probably had that in his hand, slapped it like this, it hit his back of his neck, and that's how Fark Megan was formed. Yep. The best part is just having to open it like that to wash it out. I'm pretty sure there's still some... Uh. <laughs> how did you end up finding a woman that would marry you? I don't I'm even not sure. Know. But, folks, if you don't own one of these, they're we're, called flashlights. you got to get one. We're losing viewers, folks. And yep. you know what's nice is that this is, like, fat. So you can, like, slam it against your pelvis. It's not that often that you get to have a fat pussy. You didn't even get past the thick part of the outside. You didn't even get yeah. to the to the hard part. I just hit the lips. tex -Mac said you were watching Goodnight Sugar Babe. <laughs> is that, is that, is that, and the babysitting seeds. Is that true? That is not true. Thank you very much. All right. Just checking. Yeah. It is a leaker, though, folks. For some reason, I have a sneaky suspicion you bought the wrong size. Yeah, I kind of feel like wish they had a smaller size. So this is a little too big. Yeah. Like, I'm not even... I'm barely <laughs> even hitting, like, the good part of it. But it's great, man. The way... You, the fact that you could <laughs> pound that thing, like... Ugh, I'm like, I got bruises on my pelvis from pounding that thing. You know how you asked about Angela and... Uh... I think that Angela's probably just as crazy as him. Obviously, yeah. <laughs> it's she's got to be. But it was it was it was fun. She pulls it off in public, though. You would never suspect anything's wrong, but you know, underneath, there's got to be issues. I recommend everyone get one. I wish I had a coupon code, but I don't. 
What about the update for Sunday night for Not Another Vape Show? What happened? Uh, there may not be a show Sunday, or, and there may not be an FAQ on Monday. Do you want to explain? Oh, no. Um, there is. I got a strike on the channel, so I can. I'm, well, I'm trying to appeal the strike, but as of now, no content until Wednesday, 7 a.m. There was a video. I went through every video I had to get rid of every link months ago, but there was one video that snuck that got by that I didn't hit, and that's the video they hit. So unless they ap approve my appeal, then I can't do anything till Wednesday. So. Okay. There you go. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, Amy wanted to know if Angela got any from you in the last two months. Uh, yes, I think a week or two ago. There you go, Amy. <clears throat> Obviously, Amy's interested in such things. <laughs> I'm worried about this. I think I know, I'm think pretty sure I got all of mine out, all the links, but I, I think I might have to do a double check and go through, what is it, 1,500 videos? Yeah. A lot of videos. Oh, God, you could hire somebody temp like a temp mic to go through them. Dude, I don't hire nobody. I do everything myself. Yeah. I don't need no managers or anything like that. Well, actually, I'm lying. I do have Steve. Steve well, now it's easier because it. with the new YouTube, you could do 50 videos at a time rather than doing one by one by one by one. So you can do them in groups of 50. And delete all the all the descriptions all at once. You could change the description, or you could delete the description. On fifty at once. Yep, fifty at once. So let's say you want to put your Patreon link in all your videos from day one. You could do that now. But can you delete all the descriptions? You could delete. You could either it gives you option to delete, replace, or add to the description. That's cool. Fifty's a lot. Yeah. Hmm. Nice. So it speeds. Where's this option at? I've never seen that option. I'll show you, but at the bottom of the page, it shows view. You could view 30, 40, or 50 videos per page. Oh, and yeah. top, when you click edit, I'll try that out. You could do a bulk edit. It's pretty mm -hmm. nice. Uh, yes, <clears throat> I found Steve at Home Depot. We have a quick update on the. Should I do this first? Birthday shout outs. Let's do that. Uh, happy birthday to Moxley. Moxley, happy birthday. She's probably not watching because she's going to the Oceana Vape Expo in New Zealand. I think Grimm's going to be there. And uh, who else? Matt. Matt's going to be there. Matt. Bogan. Bogan. I think Twisted Messes is going to be there, if I'm not mistaken. Uh -huh. So it should be a lot of fun. Uh, also, Addy Tooney. Much love, Addy Tooney. Happy birthday to you, my friend. Oh, Addy Tooney. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, brother. Yep. Also, uh, we have a limited uh, stock available of the Vape Team Balls. Uh, stock's running out for the show, and the price is down to $8.50 each. So if you want to get yourself a holiday ornament for your tree, if you celebrate Christmas, or if you just have trees with ornaments on them, uh, we got the va Mike Vapes. We got the Steve ornament. We also have the TVC Sexy ornament. <laughs> <laughs> and we also have the uh vape and fagan ornament there you go there we I'm go i'm wondering when the uh tvc socks are going to be released i don't like those socks at all i wanted a pre-order repair if you don't mind if you're interested you can head to art by amy shop on etsy so if you go to etsy and you do art by amy shop you can pick yourself up one of those so there you go someone said moxley is in chat oh is she happy birthday moxley Happy birthday. And I hope you have an amazing weekend. Yep. With all your buddies. Addy Tooney, too. Is Addy Tooney in chat? Get lots of pictures. <clears throat> uh, I'm not sure. Mike, any update? Uh, uh, Sadie07 says, how's the international delivery working for Hit That Juice? Where are we at on that? Uh, we never had. Oh. International. Good job, Brian. We didn't have. There's... We've talked about this story so many times, but I just was answering asking questions. It, yeah, it just it opens up uh, to hackers coming in if we open international. Mm. So, oh, by the way, a, the, why is there not a vape team ornament? There is a vape team ornament. There is. There's also a we vape we vote ornament, and uh, every vape and Fagan ornament has a bump on the back. We don't right. know what the bump is, but there's it's, a bump. It's a, it's a Fark Megan bump. There is one for the vape team as a whole. It's the vape team ornament. I guess, Amy, Amy, is there? There is a vape team one, yeah. Yes, there is. There we go. It's a healthy bump, folks. 
not cancerous or anything. Thank you. Uh, Alex Davila sent sent a picture before the show started tonight, and I just want to say that he looks high as hell. And what the uh, fuck is that a picture of? Is that a clear? What the hell is that? Super stretch material fits. Oh, okay. It's a small little toy for little guys, I think. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Alex said that if we didn't show this picture, he might hurt himself. So <laughs> this is this is a super fan, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> That's the year the smoke and weed will do to you folks right yep. there. There we go. He loves this content on the show. Look at him. Look at this fucking. <laughs> there we go. Thank you, Alex, for supporting the vape team. Yep. It's awesome. <clears throat> um, what else did I have? I had one more thing. Uh yeah, the Joel right. thing we'll talk about a little bit later in the show. Yeah, we're gonna talk about uh, Joel later. Yeah. Um, did you get? Do you get Asmodus stuff? <laughs> uh, yes, usually I do. I didn't get anything yet. Oh, you didn't. You don't got that little MTL thing, right? Not yet. Mm-mm. They usually send it to me a week after you guys. Mm-hmm. You guys are like the first run because you're big swinging dicks, and I'm like the little baby dick. This thing, this thing is actually really nice. And folks. Sit down and prepare yourself for this one. But I built mine faster than Mike built his last. Don't time. even try it. I did. We were in Zoom, no. and I built my shit. I actually went out and got coffee, came back. No and built fucking. It. Nobody believes that, Mark. Nobody I'm believes you, you anyway. I'm That's telling you, it's true. I had I had take take this RTA apart and fix it. Use it. This black version. There was a little defect with it. I guess when they put it together, so I had to take it apart and put it together. Couldn't figure out what was the problem. Then I realized, no, I got to take it apart. I had to teach Mike how to build it. He's having a problem. So. Yeah, that's it. Don't believe it. Glad I could help. Thank you. Oh, that's you didn't true. have to delete that, Mike. <laughs> delete what? This cool, is that. really tight airflow. There was a beautiful uh, screen name. That, that was actually me that created the screen name. It's called TVC's Cash Grab Light. It says, <laughs> I, ne- I need more money. It's, there's no fucking lie there. Cash there we go. Thank you for that. I did shoot my video today, but it will be out Wednesday. Thank you. Nice. Sweet. Yeah, only thing with the RTA, I, I like it, but I kind of wish it had a, a little bit more airflow. Take off the little airflow thing. Yeah, I know. I could take that out. I haven't tried it. But uh, I give you a little bit more. But I, using it the way it came with that centerpiece thing. And I kind of just want a little bit more. Yeah, this is tighter than like the Caliburn and shit like that. This is probably the tightest RTA I've tried. <clears throat> I like it tight. Mm, very good. Who doesn't need more money? Brian doesn't really need more money. I can tell you that. It's like one person that probably doesn't really need any more money. Here we go. Read the other email I sent. This is not read Alex uh, Davila email time. We should have a, a segment. Read email. You sent one. E- oh no, you sent two. My bad. We oh, could see. have a segment on here. You want to hear? You want to hear some crazy shit? A uh, little update on New York City. FedEx has decided to ban all vape-related stuff to be shipped with FedEx. Why? Why would FedEx do that? Oh my god, that's fucking stupid. So now all I got is UPS and DHL. Unbelievable. Well, United States Postal Service. Oh, they didn't stop yet? I thought they Not yet. Well, that's government. That's more on the federal. I think, it, I think it's just getting started. Yeah. I mean, we said that this was not going to get better before it gets way, way, way worse. But you're already seeing it. Like, towns now are just shutting down. Flavor bands, flavor bands, flavor bands in all these local towns and cities. Yeah. The Anani? Oh, Anani. Anani Nani. That's it. Even though FedEx, I think, is one of the worst companies for vape stuff, but the only thing is, like, uh, who do I get FedEx from? I think the only people I really get FedEx stuff from is, uh, I don't even know, just signature tips. 
That's Mike, are, are all these delivery services able to check every single package to Hell control no. this? I mean, well, they're probably putting them through um, a scanner, <laughs> some scanner or something. Where they see think, what's in there? I don't think they scan their packages. I could be wrong though, but I mean, unless they're coming from another country, I don't know. Uh, Bob Shorky says, "Anakin, yeah, but do you live in New York City, Bob?" And this is something that has it's gonna i don't know when it's gonna be implemented this is something that's gonna be happening i'm not sure when the actual ban happens <clears throat> that's scary that Ke- keith Morrell just said looks like we're gonna have to create our own delivery system for vaping that is like so true and that's that's what happens man shit goes underground you start having you know vans delivering shipments it becomes illegal and it's called the local drug dealer exactly it becomes just <laughs> like the drug trade yeah it could also be like uh, Pam says they flag company names, so that's the one thing too. It's, that's what I recommend for all vape companies. Just don't put down a vape company name. Don't have the word vapes or anything like that, or liquids or whatever in your uh, your heading. So, David Moreska said they do a Homeland Security on packages. Do we have well, any people that work for the Postal Service? For domestic packages? <clears throat> yeah, there's got to be some viewer out there that works for the Postal Service that knows. Anybody in chat got an update? If for domestic packages, if they scan everything? I, I can't imagine they could. No, not for not for domestic, I think, with yeah. FedEx. I think it's more of a, they look at the name. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Who knows? I don't know. Turbo, yeah, x-rays. Maybe through x-ray machines. Who knows? I don't know what they do. But it's screwed up. Congratulations, uh, Fat Guy Vapes. Hopefully you enjoy them. The markup is coming, my friends. That's all. That's for everything. For uh, retail, if you're buying retail, or even for wholesale that's coming in, anything with FedEx into the New York <clears throat> State is going to be denied. Also, just because it's happening in the United States right now, and no matter where you live across the planet, you need to be up and on top of the advocacy where you live. You need to find out what's going on with your local government. And you need to find out what you can do because it's not going to stop just here. It's just getting started. Yep, that's right, uh, Keith. Uh, Demand Vape, which is, uh, I think they're in upstate New York. If they use FedEx coming into New York, because they do all their wholesale, they ship, they use FedEx for into like New York City. If they, that could get stopped easily and confiscated. Like if FedEx does it, I could see UPS following, but I can't see DHL following. Yeah, exactly, Lance. FedEx can open your package if they suspect something. Uh, FedEx, UPS, and DHL can open them up. The United States Postal Service cannot open up your package. They actually need to get a search warrant to open it up for domestic. I'm just reading chat to see if there's any yeah, people. Yeah, that... oh. Uh Pam saying it's spilling over in Canada, which it is. I'm going to give you guys a little uh, something, something I found out about Canada. From Dash? Well, not really Dash. What, what is this? I'm gonna I get all my illegal Viagra uh, via USPS. Uh, we just got our first fill out, full out flavor ban here announced for the province of Nova Scotia. Canada. Mm. Yep. Canada is heading down a very tough road right now. There will be more to follow. That's from uh, Haystown Vapes. Oh, he actually sent me the headline here. Ontario considering ban on flavored vaping products, health minister says. It's spreading, man. Canada, wow. Canada, right? Yep. That is nuts. Where six months ago, it seemed like they were on a road of uh, embracing vaping. And then, like I said, that's what they usually do. They follow the shit that said here in the States. Yep. And what that they're going to do is they're either going to flavor ban or they're going to put such high taxes on the products that people won't be motivated to make the switch. Yeah. ID Voca just said uh, effective January 1st, there's going to be a 100% tax on tobacco and vaping products in the United Arab, Arab Emirates. Holy shit. That's so double the price, right? Yep. 100% tax. It's fucking crazy, Gee, Matt man. says that's where Oak Island is. The Oak Island's on. <clears throat> Anybody? You guys You guys don't watch Oak Island, right? Mm. So all the benefits that, like, I remember the first time that I quit smoking early on, 
that euphoria that you felt by knowing how much money you were saving every month, like you could literally feel the savings in your pocketbook. And you not that I have a pocketbook, Bart does, but you could feel the savings. So not only did you save money, but you also had these delicious flavors as soon as your, you know, vapor's tongue went away and you started tasting again. And they're trying to take away the flavors. They're trying to increase the pricing and limit availability through the PMTA process that's coming up. It's fucking disgusting, man. They're doing their best to stop people from transitioning and burying us with misinformation and lies, man. It's just, it's so disheartening. Mm-hmm. There you go. There's the, the Oak Islanders commenting in chat. What's Oak Island about, Mike? Who? What is it about? It's about a treasure on this island that they they're digging to find it. And they're, I guess, they're dumping. They're rich. The guys that uh, they're doing it. There's a whole team of them. But the main two guys, uh, I think there's either two or I think there's the third guy too. They own a winery in uh, Michigan. So they got they got money. Is this a money. movie? No, this is a weekly show. Oh, okay. And uh, this, I think that's like seven seasons in. And Vapor Bachelor says he grew up in Oak Island. <laughs> so they're, they're digging. They're going down like 100 feet to earth looking for for this treasure and there's booby traps and shit like that it's it's crazy it's hard to explain the whole thing in detail but it it's it's one of those shows that you got to watch from the beginning once you watch from the beginning you're hooked Is so it it's like a documentary effect? type movie yeah, it's, it's like a, a tv movie, show it's like a no. non-fiction show yeah exactly on netflix or no 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 there it's on uh the history history channel history channel yeah, I got it. I got it. I don't remember the channel. I think no history channel. I got a DVR. Yeah, two brothers uh, from Michigan, and I, I think the other guy, Tester. I think my. I think he's uh, either a partner with them on that, or he's also a partner with the winery. Can't remember correctly, but it, it's it's a, it's a great show. <clears throat> you watch from the beginning, you're gonna be hooked, and you're gonna be binge watching that thing. Dude, I'm reading disgusting stuff in chat about Finland. How much it costs to get one liter of VG without nicotine? Just in taxes, it's fifteen hundred euros. Mm. Oh, oh Turbo says that the wine is a side thing that they have. They also in the oil business too. Yeah, yeah they got money. They're dumping millions of dollars just to find this treasure, and they think it might be like the treasure might be like the uh, the Ark of the Covenant might be buried there. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Keith, for killing it uh, for us that didn't watch it yet. Yep. <laughs> Hell yeah! Yeah, it's also on Netflix, so you could watch like season one on Netflix. Just binge watch it. Well, obviously That's... they haven't found the treasure yet, so we could just skip ahead. The Curse of Oak Island. Oh, it's you need to watch it in the beginning. You'll be hooked on it. Oh, All the right. Holy Grail. Yep, that's another thing. There we go. Uh, no, I did not find any. Thank you, Sal. <laughs> yeah, the first bulk was found on Oak Island. Yeah, they are very close to finding the treasure. Do you think they're going to find the treasure on the show? Yeah, they're going to find something. They've already found treasure. Small bits and pieces of stuff. So they know there's something there. Yeah. They found stuff. They found stuff that's proving everything. You know who else searched for this treasure? Uh, was it, uh, who was it? Theodore Roosevelt? Eh, he even searched for that treasure. No shit. I watched a good movie last week. It was an older <laughs> movie about a bunch of Mexicans. They got good night, stuck sugar, in babe. They got stuck in a cave for like a month. And they all made it out alive. I forgot the name of the movie. They weren't Mexicans. Yeah, they were Mexicans. I don't think so, man. They were all Mexicans. Someone in chat has to see the movie. They were miners, and they all got stuck in there for like 60 days. I don't think that was Mexico, man. It may not have been Mexico, but they were Mexican. <laughs> I don't think so. All right. Yep. Broken on Netflix, episode two. I heard half of it was pretty positive, and half of it was really bad. I got to make a list of all the things that I need to watch, and I need to spend a whole day just binge-watching. 
It's called the 33. There you go. Thank you, Randall Hayes. Thank you, Randall Hayes. I was wrong, I guess. There we go. See? Somebody said it was chili. Chilean miners, yeah. This is what miners that got trapped for Guatemala. Yeah, it it caved in on them. Wait, this this was this happened years ago. Yeah, but it was a movie they made about it. Oh, they made a movie out of it. Okay. Ba- Batman corrected you and said, "Fogging out with the Batman." That was in Chile, Mark. That's not Mexico. Yeah, Chile. they were they were dressed up like Mexicans. They had pinatas. <laughs> all all right. You're, oh, you're banned. God. Later, Mark. <laughs> we're gonna shut it down, oh, folks. God. Mark, can you turn around and have Fark on the show, please? Thank hey, you. it's a Mario. It's a Luigi. But kiss me, Mario. Maybe we touch your lips. Yes. We touch a lip in the fuck of the butt. <laughs> you got pissed off. You got people pissed off in chat, Mark. There we go. Oh, yep. And the Bears just scored a touchdown, dude. I I can't believe. First of all, I hope the Bear the I hope the Cowboys win. Our division is shit. The Eagles have no chance of going through the playoffs. Watch them win, but they have no chance of making it through the playoffs. And just to have a little bit more hope to watch another game where we're gonna lose again, I'm just not into it, man. I've given up. Oh God, Vike Vike Mapes. <laughs> Vike Mapes. I realize that. <laughs> Do you see it? Yeah. Vike Mapes. Mapes. Vike Mapes says the Holy Grail is on Mark's back. There we go. It's on my neck. Thank you. We need to dig into it to find out the treasure. <laughs> Mark was digging for treasure in that little pocket pussy that he has. Dude, I was pounding that thing. How uh, long did you last? Uh, Maybe like five minutes or so. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, Fat Guy Vape says, Mike Vapes coils for the blotto. Any recommendations or suggestions? Uh, 2.5 millimeter, anything, don't matter. Anything that's 2.5 millimeter in a diameter, you'll be fine. Throw in some nice fuse claptons, you're good to go. Ooh, it smells buttery. Oh, yes. The Mandalorian. What do you guys think of the Mandalorian? The Duke. It's kind of. Oh, go ahead, you go. You go first. Oh, I thought you were talking about the car. Okay, so no, this is not to you, Mark. You don't watch the <laughs> the scenery, the atmosphere, the the costumes, the the world building. All of that is incredible. The show itself is not incredible. Yeah, it's like almost like a letdown, and yep. then it's like only a half hour. It's like yep. They should have released every episode all at once. And I just wish there was more. I don't know. I'm just not blown away. It's I'm a blown little away bit by, boring. Yeah. It's a little bit boring. Not the greatest show ever, I'll tell you that. I mean, the best part of the show is fucking Baby Yoda. Yeah. So far. Baby Yoda. There we go in chat. Yeah. Baby you, Yoda's the shit. There was a picture with the Baby Yoda pod, and it had a baby gremlin in it. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I like it, too, but it's just a little bit... Uh, this last episode was okay. There was a little gun action going, a little action going on in there, which was good. But uh, it all—it's almost. I think it's. I think it's mostly that it's a half-hour show that really kills it for me. I want it to be an hour at least. And what is it? We, what are we gonna get uh, all together? I think the whole season is four hours. Yeah. If you think about it, it's eight episodes. Yeah. Not much. Whoopie doo. There's a new ride that they just I think it opened two days ago at Galaxy's Edge at Disney World in Florida. I think it's um Hollywood Studios in Disney World. And it's called Rise of the Resistance or something like that. Mm. Dude, this fucking ride looks incredible. Mm. Incredible. If you're into Star Wars and you like the Star Wars theming and stuff for rides, uh, you gotta go check it out. There's lots of videos like first person accounts of it on uh youtube if you like watching people ride on rides i don't know i like watching people fuck so oh god ronnie ate baby yoga what? uh rodrigo says greatest show right now is peaky blinders i keep on hearing about peaky blinders i haven't watched that and i think there's a few uh seasons out on that yeah there is you watch that no that has the guy from uh day after tomorrow or what was that? It was like a fucking zombie movie the day after tomorrow, month after tomorrow. I don't know. Something like that. He was the dude that was Scarecrow in, in the Batman, the original Batman Begins. Colin something. Oh, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, he's in Peaky Blinders. That dude. There we go, Mark. Come Thanks. on. <laughs> Mr. Oh, Fake Bottle of Lube. 
it's a that came with it. Too. I got that came with it. It was like a special they had. So uh, lube, lube comes in handy because I was gonna use lotion, but trying to clean lotion out of that thing is a fucking nightmare. So use oil or use lube. We got a donation from Matthew Mendel, ten dollars. He said, "I'm willing to bet that ninety nine percent of people watching want to see Mark take a pin and drain that evil on his neck." It's a mole. You can't drain a mole because there's nothing inside of a mole. There's an infection inside of it, Mark. There's no infection. The redness has gone down like 80%. It's not hurting. <laughs> First of all, you can't even see. So how the fuck do you know if the redness went down? We saw it tonight, and it's red as hell. My nurse, I have checking it for me daily. Cillian Murphy. There you go. Cillian there Murphy. There we go. Where was I getting that name from? I've been putting. Hold on. I think I have early onset Alzheimer's. <laughs> I really do. Jared says, Jared says, Baby Yoda is our savior. He's the new religious figure. A book shall be written by him and spread to the people. There we go. There we go. What is that, chlamydia? Yes, yeah, chlamydia topical solution? herpes medication. To clear up chlamydia. I bet so you I figured it would work. So all I do is take a cotton swab, <clears throat> dab it in. Who watched The Irishman? I, I haven't even seen that yet. You watched it, Mark? Yeah, I just... Near the middle, I lost interest because it got too political, and yeah, I couldn't understand what was going on. <laughs> Did Angela explain no it? Anything. The That's... beginning was good, but after that, I just couldn't keep up. Yeah, it was good. Did it's you love it, Mike? Hours. Did you love it? No, I didn't love it. You liked it. I liked it. It was okay, but it wasn't like, oh man, it was awesome. Yeah, like, I don't know. Uh, Keith Moralt, five dollars. He said, "What does the vape team want for Christmas?" You had that the is... other. Did you read the other one before that? I did. Okay. Yeah. What does the vape team want for? I Christmas? I know what I want for what, Christmas. What do you want for Christmas, Mike? I want for all this banned flavor shit to go away. That's what I want for Christmas. That'd be nice. Yeah, I would like to second that. That would be an awesome Christmas gift. And good health. And good health. Health is I'm your wealth. I'm going to be greedy and say I'd like to strike remove from my channel. There Thank you go. You. Thank you. See, I... Ronnie Cash was creep watching. He said, true story about the baby, him eating baby Yoda. <laughs> Thanks, Ronnie. You yep. can always count for Ronnie to creep watch. How's I'm baby Ronnie good. doing? That's what I want to know. Yes, baby Ronnie. Baby Ronnie. Um, the future savior. Ronnie's in full dad mode this Christmas. That must be awesome. Uh-huh. Instead of a pacifier, the baby's sucking on a mech mod. Dad, dad? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah. How about an RDA with the drip tip? There you go. That'd make a good pacifier. Uh-huh. Uh, do we have agenda? We do. We do? We agenda. Uh, we got, yeah, then we'll maybe do a little drama. Yes, yeah, so we've got to do the agenda. Then we have to do the, also the, are we doing the uh, surprise thingies? Well, the agenda is the surprises. Oh, let's do that. Let's do it. All right. So uh, you can check out Hit That Juice uh, for all your vaping needs. You can use code Amy Relish ten for ten percent off your order. And if you guys have any ideas for game night, Amy's looking to set up later in the month for game night for the holidays. So uh, you can send her a message at Amy Relish COO at gmail dot com and get that information to her, and then we can do game night. Um, tonight, Secret Squirrels. Element Vape is stepping up. Now, if you're interested, I'm telling you this right now, you got to get one of these. If you love the Caliburn, I'm telling you, the, the Cuckoo or the So-So, whatever, awesome mm -hmm. little mod. And Element Vape's got them. So, there you go. Uh, Secret Squirrel tonight, Element Vape, Mark, pick a winner. This is U.S. only. If you guys win, you need to put Element Vape in the subject for the email. You need to put name, address, telephone number, and... Uh, a picture ID to show that you're of legal vaping age where you live. So there you go. Amy Relish, COO at gmail.com. And uh, if you don't hear it back within 48 hours, folks, file a complaint. Cuckoo. With the... Uh, we know what it's called, by the way. Thanks. BBB. Shut up! Here we go, folks. You guys don't have to do anything in chat for this. What? To what? 228. 228. Here we go, folks. For you. Oh, shit. Only 212. I got to read. <laughs> Somebody said pin the mole on Mark's neck's going to be the game. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got to read. Mark, M Mike, and I are going to get blindfolded and spun around, and we're going to pin the tail on Mark's neck. 
That thing is so big, we ain't gonna miss. Nope. Here we go. I'd have to wear gloves. All right, two twenty-eight. Let's try it again. There we go. Now we got numbers. Oh my gracious! We dealt. We got a two thirty and a two twenty-six. Who cares? Keep picking, Mark. Keep picking. I love picking. Pick. Picking my ass, picking my nose, picking scabs off my balls. Two twenty-eight. No, we got a two thirty. Coco, super light. I got a feeling this is gonna be a this is gonna be a long one, folks. Two twenty-eight is a bad number. Yep, it's it's pretty clutch. Two twenty-seven. That is fucking clutch. Yep, no doubt. Shut up, that stupid. Oh my god, we finally get a 228 and you'll never guess who it is. Who is it? Who is it's it? The team. We won. Thank you. All right, yes. folks. What do we win? Coco. I wish Brian was not No, this is by the way, the secret score for Element Vape is not the Coco. It's whatever the secret squirrel is. It's a mystery. You'll get it in the mail. But uh so why did you promote the Coco? Because I highly the... recommend it. Wow. I love the Caliburn. I love the Coco. So why would you recommend the Coco over the Caliburn? Can you pick a winner? I'm still waiting for 228 to pop. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. We get 227. Can 230. we just do a different number? Yeah, I say do a different number. because One. Right. Thank you. Pick one. number one. Uno momento. <laughs> Makes it easy for Mark. Congratulations to uh, Cowboys fan 21. Oh, no, 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 no. Any Cowboys fan can't win. Because yep. no matter what you win, you're still a fucking loser. That's all I'm saying. Contact Amir Relish and expect to hear a reply within 24 hours. Choose all right, all right. And don't include your ID. <sighs> we don't need to. Thank I'll you. let you win. Mark, you have to send an ID. It's U.S. residents only. And, uh, yeah. I don't get the whole U.S. residents part because we got so many people watching this show across the world. It's kind of offensive that they spend... We know it's offensive, hours. the thing on your fucking neck. Let's go. Next giveaway. They spend an hour. We don't do giveaways on this channel. I forgot. We don't do giveaways. Next secret squirrel is from Inakin. And uh, tonight, what do we got, Mike? We got three Poddens. So we're giving away three Poddens. These are awesome little fellas. There was somebody in chat earlier that won a Podden on another show. We're giving uh -huh. three of these away. So that's the first three. And then the second three is does anybody have their Proton Mini out? That's cool. Oh, I yeah, do. Proton Mini. Boom. Proton Mini Wars. So we're giving three of these, and we're giving three of these. Six people? This is international. International. Contact a let the You fucking let me finish what I'm saying. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's so difficult. I can't what was the, Wait a minute. What was the first one for the Element Vape? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so we did the Element Vape. So the Cowboys dude won the Element Vape one. Yes. Okay, Against so my better doing, judgment, right, he won. Come on, number one, Mark. Pick Uno. three of them. Three of them for the podden. Podden, three. Why don't I just pick one, number three? I'm getting red, Mike. <laughs> Here we go. Number one, three times. We got nothing. Let's do it again. Nothing. It's a secret squirrel. Nothing. Do it again. Oh, we got something. Lorenzo Salties. Salties. Salties? Salt. S-O-L-T-Y-S. Congratulations. Next one. Next one is going to be nobody. I'm assuming. Uh, here we go. Noah York. No -O York. H York. Noah York. No New York. Noah York. Noah York. Noah York. And the last winner is Omi Vapes. O H M I E Vapes. Omi Vapes. Congratulations. Three more. Here we go. Congratulations, Edward Cap. Or Kate. That's for the Proton now. Edward this is Cap for the Proton, Proton Mini. K A P P. Congratulations. Suck a dick. Yep. Number oh. two, <laughs> we got Cool Breeze. Cool Breeze. <sighs> that sounds a little. Never mind. I'll just leave it at that. And number three is. Saint of the Sinners. Congratulations, you sinning son of a bitch. You are the third winner. Congratulations. All right. So all the winners need to contact Amy Relish, COO, at gmail.com. Put your name, your address, oh, I... your telephone number, and a picture ID international for the uh, Inican giveaway. Say this? And in the this subject, you need to put what you won. 
So if you won the Poden or the Podden, put Podden. If you won the uh, the Proton Mini, put Proton Mini. That's it. Thank you, Mark. Go fuck yourself. Put your color next to the, what you want so you get the color you want. You might get stuck with a pink one. <clears throat> your guy. Eh. And if you don't want, let's say you don't want the Poden and you want the Mini, just say that you won the Mini. <laughs> don't know. Stop, man. <laughs> Amy won't know. She'll have like. Amy, well, All right. People... This is the. When people do that, Amy checks, and if they do do that, they get disqualified. Yep. <laughs> if you don't follow my directions to to a T, you don't win anything. Yep. That's what I'm saying. Don't listen to what Mark says at all. Yep. I'm just putting it out there. I'm just putting it out there, Mark. The gooch knows, all right? The gooch will never do So, it. because Mark has an entire child... I'm the gooch! The, okay. Because the gooch has an entire ch- child's bedroom full of bulks... We're going to do a bulk giveaway tonight on the show, sponsored by Vaping Fagan, in, oh, in honor of Fagan's World launching. Okay, yep. we're doing five bulks two night, two night on the show. Yep. If you win a bulk and you can pick the color, VapingFagan at gmail.com. Starting now, Mark, pick a winner. The I'm number is... One. I'm giving one away. Here we go. We're going to choose winner number five. I'm not about to ship five of them because I'm a lazy son of a bitch. Winner you might is, as well just give one person five of them. Winner is Kid Bass. Kid Bass, K-I-D-D-B-A-S-S. There, there, you there you go. Congratulations, son of a bitch. You just won five bulks. You won yep. one contact, bulk. Contact vapenfagan at gmail.com. Yep. Contact Amy Relish. No, hell no. No, no. She has nothing to do with this. And she'll set you up. She will not. You will send it out. And you need to make sure that you tell Mark what color you want of the bulk, and he will send it out to you. You'll get either gold or stainless. There's no black. Yep. Or you can spray paint it, or I can spray paint it. There you go. Yep. We're only He's giving away black fish. ones. Why are you saying fish? Does fish mean piff? Fish. Oh, I said piff. Who? Said, Who? I don't know. He said fish. Kid Bass said fish. Does that mean piff? And we got Amy Rose. Fish? fish. What's what's fish mean? Is that fish? He said he wrote fish. You want to go fishing? Piffit, he said. Ask him to build it. What are you fucking crazy? My name's not Mike Vapes. I ain't building the damn thing. Yep, he didn't say piff. Oh, he said fish. Anywho. I do send to the UK. You could just ask. Uh, it's the fish. It's a bass, not bass. The flavorous. Oh, bass, bass. Kid bass. Kid bass, kid bass. Bass. Yeah, How low can you go? Stick it in my butt. Don't you know? Uh, all right, Gooch. What else we got? Uh, the Gooch. That's all I got. The Gooch is kind of. Uh, he's all Gooched out. Tapped out. Uh, we're going to talk about. Uh, are we going to talk about Mr. Just Right One and the drama? Oh, yeah. Let me pull my notes up. We got enough time for that? The only not? the only thing is that uh, he is in chat right now. Is he really? Yeah, Joel is in chat. And uh, I think the best way to do this is is that we need to have Joel on Mark's show. Sunday? And confront them face-to-face. I on think Sunday? that's the way it should be. When Give you him have a chance drama. to respond. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we need to, he needs to have a chance to respond, so we need to have him on the show. All right, I'll give him that, even though I don't want it. So, Mark, when is the when is? Oh, wait a minute, we can't do it this Sunday, right? I don't know if I'm going to do it on my other channel just to do it, or I don't know yet. Oh, we'll do it. Oh, are you well, doing a show Sunday? I might if I do. I don't know because if the appeal goes through and it's good, I'm the show will be as normal. If not, I might do it on my other channel. All right. So, what's the channel that do you have a link to your other channel? Do you Everybody wants chat? drama, Mike. I don't know if people want to wait. Everybody loves fucking drama. Well, look, if so they like, want. If they want drama, they have to subscribe to Mark's channel. <laughs> I mean, with all the things, the world, with all the things, to... drama. We're gonna have we're gonna have uh, a whole drama show on Mr. Just Right One, and uh, we're gonna give him a chance to confront. I guess if that's what people want. We have allegations against them. We have we have pictures. Hold on. We have pictures. We have testimonies. Testimonials. Is that what it's called? For people. Yep. But yeah. I didn't make it clickable. My bad. Why are people calling other people in chat trolls? Is there a troll in chat? Is there? Hmm. Uh, 
Hell yeah. I don't know why it hasn't changed yet. But... Hey, look at that. Mr. Just Right One, as soon as I mentioned them, left. He's not even... Doesn't even want to deal anymore. with it. He don't want to deal with it. We're giving you the opportunity, Joel. And there's the link, everybody. So if you want to find out about what's going on, you need to check out Fagan's World. <laughs> <laughs> Fagan's World. For all the information that you're looking for about this drama, mm -hmm. go to head on, head on over to Fagan's World and uh, get, get your update. It sounded good. Wow. Oh, it, look at Amy, Amy. She just called him Mr. Just Wrong. Yeah. Wow. Yep. It's getting heated up. I don't think I could take the heat, so we're going to end the show right here, ladies and gents. Head on over to Fagan's World. Hang out with the Gooch. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you on maybe Sunday night on Mark's show, maybe yeah, not. Sunday night, we're going to go, be on Mark's other channel called uh, Fagan's World. Fagan's or it's going to be on World. Mark's channel if the strike gets removed. Yep. And uh, Mr. Just Right, just, uh, he's going to be a stand-up guy, and he said he's in there like swimwear. So there you go. <laughs> there you go. Obviously, he has nothing to hide, and he wants to stand up for himself. And uh, clear his uh, previously untarnished name. I don't know. Amy's dug up a lot of stuff, and she's been yeah. passing it to me. And, and she's fired up over Bob across the street with this whole holiday war that's going on in our neighborhood right now. Yep. So let me tell you something. She's digging deep. So check out Fagan's World. And see the gooch. The gooch. The gooch. It's a fucking sweet I name. think Mark's neck got infected because he rubbed his gooch and then fucking touched his neck. That's what I think. Yep. All right, everybody. Well, we'll see you same vape time, same vape channel next Thursday night on the vape team. Fagan's World Sunday night. ST's Tuesday night. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you. Stretch it, Mark. Stretch Bruce. it. Pork loin. Bye, everybody. Twenty minute outro begins now. Shut up! It's a balloon. Oh my there god. Is, there's some dried up flakes in there. Oh, that's disgusting. Now that's a queef. I do have chlamydia, Keith. Keep it down. Don't tell anyone. Jesus. Chlamydia. 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 Dirty balloon knots. Thank you. Chucking. Chucking truckers. Yeah, my family did it. Yeah, my family did it. Say that thing is world. Why that me, boy? The gooch. The gooch. The gooch. Oh, fuck. Say that that big boy. Thing is world. I love it. Oh, my God. I love it. I love it.